Hey, Faye, how's it going? Hi, Evan. Wow, this micro kitchen sure are getting bigger. I know, so much chocolate. Anyways, uh, machine learning has been all the craze lately, and we're looking for better and faster ways to leverage it. But we often run into operational overhead, especially considering all the time and effort it takes to develop a specific model and have it run in different places. Yeah, I actually hear this issue a lot. A common scenario is that a data scientist would develop his or her model on a laptop, train that model in the cloud, then serve it in production, maybe on-prem or in a different cloud. In these different environments, software and hardware configurations could totally be different. That makes things break easily when moving from one environment to the other. So what if I told you that there would be a way to easily develop, train, and deploy machine learning models in a very scalable and flexible way by leveraging Kubernetes? Wow, that would be amazing. Do you think you could show us all that in five minutes? For sure. I'll be using an open source framework to do just that. It is called Kubeflow. It helps you run machine learning models on Kubernetes. Well, I will show you how to use Kubeflow to first train a TensorFlow model to recognize handwritten numbers, then to serve that model on an application server. On top of that, we will deploy a web interface to interact with the model over public internet. So Kubeflow actually supports distributed training as well as training on GPUs. But to keep things simple today, I will demo CPU-only training on a single node. Let's jump into it. Let's do it. I have already spun up a Kubernetes cluster. Kubeflow uses a tool called Ksana to help manage Kubernetes development packages. To get started, first I deploy a Kubeflow component to my Kubernetes cluster. Some of these components include a Jupyter Hub for model development and TF job for managing training jobs. After those are deployed, I can run kube control get all and see a list of all the resources provisioned by Kubeflow. Now that Kubeflow is ready to go, let's start training the model. It's actually really easy. I have already built a container with existing Python code and pushed it to the container registry. This Python code trains the model to recognize handwritten digits, then export the model to a storage bucket. Now, I will deploy the training component. I set the parameters for the training job to tell it where to find the container in the registry. You can now see in the workload page, I have a container being created to perform the training job. When it is done, the model will be exported to a bucket. It is going to take a little while spinning up the container and doing the actual training. While this is happening, let's set up a server to serve the model. I'm using a TF serving deployment to do it. I will point the server to the bucket where our model will be exported to. Now, in the workload page, you can see that I have a serving deployment called minced serve. After that, let's also deploy a web app UI to interact with the model. Here, I have a simple Flask app that will connect with the server that we deployed in the last step. Again, I have packaged it into a container and pushed it into the registry. I use case on it to deploy it with an external IP. Back to the workload page, you can see the web UI deployment is also running. Now, let's check on the status of our training job. It is still running. Let's look at the logs. OK, it is almost done, almost 90% there. Now we can click on the Refresh button here. You can see the training is now over, and the model has been uploaded to the bucket. With that, we can play with our model. Let's go to our web app component, find the external IP, connect to the server. Here it is. We can then use that server to test on some random images. So the first one, we're seeing a picture of a handwritten zero, and it's giving the pr correct predictions of zero. With that, let's test on a couple of other random images. We can see that's giving the correct result. So everything we just saw today, from training to serving to web app UI, is all happening on GKE Kubernetes with Kubeflow. Wow, Faye, that was amazing. Well, thanks. Well, now you can easily develop, 
train, and deploy your machine learning models everywhere on Kubernetes thanks to Kubeflow. I want to give a big shout out to Dan Senche, who developed the demo material. Please like, comment, and subscribe down below. And if your company is working on any cool projects and you'd like to reach out to the team, go ahead and click on the link down below as well.